warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Give me a minute of your time. I'm glad to share to you my perspective about why we need to change to Sharia Bank. First of all, let me introduce my name. My name is Rifki I.R. Kaiser Gnewan. I am a student of International Program Islamic and Economic and Finance, Universitas Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta. So, why we need to change to Sharia Bank? A prosperous country comes from a prosperous society. One of the important movements of an economy in society comes from the velocity of money in the bank. But lately, the conventional bank system that we use is considered to only benefit one side, where one of them an element of usury that is prohibited in Islam. Lately, what I know is that around 1% of people in Indonesia owns around 50% of the country assets. That means 50% of the assets owned by the country are intended for 99% of the country of the country's population. Very far comparison of gaps in the country. And I know that recently Indonesia ranked forward as a country with high level of economic inequality. So, how to reduce social inequality in Indonesia? One of them is by using Islamic banks. Why the Islamic banks? Or indeed what makes Islamic banks can reduce social inequality? First one, we must know the perspective of, of Islam in the economy. Then, why is the Islamic economy having the goal? The third, why the Islamic bank system can reduce social inequality? First, Islamic view of economy. There are two, two categories. There are two sorts of Islamic economy. First one from Al Quran, and the second is As Sunnah. In Al Quran, there are so many surah that are talking about economy. I will take two of them. First one is Al Baqarah, first. 275 the second is Arum verse 39 these two surah talk about usury in buying and selling people who eat usury they say actually buying and selling is the same as riba even though Allah has justified the sale and prohibited usury those who have reached him the prohibition from Allah this the stop from taking riba then what he has taken first and affairs it to Allah into Allah up to Allah people who return to take usury are inhabitants of the of hell they are eternal in it the second the purpose and maintaining usury in Islamic economy not only to worshipping Allah there is also a purpose to prosper the people a prosperous society will fo will walk following the order of his God and abandon his prohibitions if you pay attention the uncertainty of interest to be paid will harm borrow will harm the borrowers of funds in this case the point is that interest change due to due to late payment and change in the pay, in the value of currency. The third, why Islamic bank system can reduce social inequality. There are three parts to Islamic bank. First one is fund distribution product. The second fund collecting products. The third product related to services product by bank to their customer. On distribution product the first one financing transaction aimed at owning goods are carried out 
with the principle of buying and selling. The second, financing transaction intended to obtain services are carried out on a leasing principle. The third, financing transaction for joint ventures aim at obtaining goods and services at the same time with the principle of profit sharing. In the first and the second categories, the bank's profit level is determined in advance and become part of the price of the goods or service, service sold. Whereas in the third category, the level of bank profit is determined by the amount of business profits in accordance with the principle of profit sharing. On the profit sharing, product profit is determined by the profit sharing ratio, ratio agree, agreed in advance. advance. The second, fund collecting products. There are two things. There are two things principal in fund collecting products. First one is wadiah principal, and the second mudaraha principal. First one, wadiah principal. The principle of wadiah applied is wadiah yad damanah, which is applied to current account to current account product. In the case wadiah da wadiah damanah, the interested party. The bank is responsible for the integrity of the deposit asset, so that he may that he may utilize the the said deposit assets. The second, the Modoraba principle. In applying the Modoraba principle, depositors or deposit act as a stable bond or the owner of capital, and bank as the manager. The funds are used by bank to finance the sale and purchase the carry out. The, fund the funds can also be used by bank to finance capital grants. The third one, product related to service. Product related to service provided by bank to their customer. For, there are two things, first surf or buy and sell foreign exchange. In principle, foreign in principle foreign currency trading is aligned with the SARF principle. Buying and selling currencies that are not of this type, deliver must be done at the same at the same time. The bank takes advantage of this foreign exchange trading. So, if you doing this without, if you doing this, you should deliver in the in the same time if you don't do like that it's same like riba or usury and the second is ijara rent type of ijara activities include leasing deposit and document administration the bank can get rental fees from this service in conclusion islamic banks can improve the account can improve the current economic the current economic problem with the aim of elementary usury, prospering the community and a system that is run to benefit both parties. A good Muslim, a good Muslim community is one who follows the teaching of his religion according to the recommendation. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.